hello there welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually an update to my skincare project pan we didn't have an update last month because i figured there wasn't much to update on i think i had only used one product and it was my cleanser so it would have been kind of boring whereas this time around i actually have three products that i used up so if you want to see uh, my skincare project pan then just keep on watching as always, I am going to start off with the things that I did manage to finish up. I think the most exciting update is this. This is my Nail Berry Little Treasure Nourishing Cuticle Oil. And as you can see, it is absolutely empty. So I finally managed uh, to use that up. I'm going to turn down the brightness a little bit. I finally managed to use that up like using it on my cuticles alone was not a good option because I it just the progress was so so minimal but then I started to use this on my feet and you know I managed to use a lot of it so in place of that I do have another cuticle oil that I want to use up because I have this one and then I have another kind of oil serum um so yeah I have, a, I have a few things that, yeah, a few things like that that needs to be used up. So what I'll be rolling in is this Silk Hair Bio Line Cuticle Oil and I have my one uh, in the coconut scent. And as you can see, I am just about there. I have been using this for uh, a good few weeks now, slow going, but at least this one is a bit more nicer because it actually has a dropper rather than uh, a brush. So it's just a little bit more handy, uh, but yeah. This is going to be replacing that and it will probably take another half a year to use up. That's okay. Next up, I used up my Avant Velvet Perfecting Rose Sugar Lip Scrub. That's all done. There you go. All finished up. There's a little bit there at the bottom. I couldn't squeeze it out and I'm not going to cut it open. I'm not like that. But this is finished. And what I'll be replacing it with is my Silk Hair So Sweet and Natural Lip Scrub. And I have the Blueberry uh, Scent. Now, as you can see, not used at all. I had this before, I do really enjoy it. So let me just open it up. It's brand new, so this is what it looks like. I really like it, it has a beautiful scent. Mm, it's so yummy. Plus the uh, sugar particles are fairly, like the sugar particles, uh, they're quite big. So they exfoliate my lips very, very well. I do enjoy it, the smell, the way that it works. It does leave a little bit of a, um, uh, not a film, but a little bit of a color residue because of how potent the color is. But you know, if you use a, a cleanser, it just comes right off. Plus I think it makes my lips a lot more plumper when I use it. Definitely a lot more plumper than uh, they were when I was using this Avant one. Yeah, I really do enjoy it. And then the last product that I used up is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. This is my cleanser. I love it. I will be repurchasing it. I do have a couple of uh, cleanser kind of products, like milk cleansers that I want to use up before I repurchase. But yeah, this is a definite repurchase for me. Works beautiful to remove makeup. Uh, works beautiful as a morning uh, cleanser. It's gentle enough to kind of work on your bare skin just after skincare in the morning. And it's um, it, it's tough enough. I, 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 I can't describe it. It just works well very in the morning. It works well in the afternoon. It's tough enough to remove makeup, especially if you use it twice. Perfect, perfect uh, all around cleanser. I love it. What I'll be replacing it with is this. This is the Soprum uh, Daily Facial Cleansing Oil. So I have been using this for a couple of weeks now and I'm just about uh, there. So yeah, I do enjoy it. It's an oil cleanser. Uh, so if I have a full face of makeup like I do now, what I would do is I would pump out uh, two pumps on my hand and massage it into my hands and then apply it on my dry skin. And uh, I would kind of keep massaging it until i see that for example my mascara has gone off my uh, brow products has you know disappeared and same with my lips then what i would do is i would go with a normal cleanser so like this a liquid cleanser or make milk cleanser 
I would apply it on top, massage that in, and then wash it off. Because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use a cloth afterwards. I'm not going to be washing a cloth every single night just for this. So it seems that my method of using this and then a second cleanser works very well. And I have been enjoying it you know using it like that it is a really nice cleanser um honestly i'm not i'm not converted into the double cleanse method meaning using an oil based base cleanser and then a liquid cleanser because i find that if i use a liquid cleanser twice it does the same job and it's a lot less messy but nonetheless this works as intended it's a good oil based cleanser Okay, so let's move on to the things that unfortunately I didn't uh, use up yet. But I think on some of them next, well, yeah, on some of them next month they'll definitely be gone. So I'm going to start off with this in no particular order, to be honest. Uh, this is the Beauty Kitchen Natural Line uh, Natural Lip Treatment. So let me just open it up. This is of what it looks like now. So I had hit a side pan and I'm kind of expanding my way um, up. This is gonna take ages to use up um, because of how big that tin is. But I don't mind it. It is the perfect, uh, very light um, lip balm for the nighttime. What I would do is I would grab a lot, then apply it on my lips like a mask and let that sink in. And um, I feel um, that my lips are very hydrated when I wake up uh, in the morning. So yeah, that's how I've been using it. Long way to go, but that's okay. Uh, one product that I will be finished next month is this Avant Pro Radiance Brightening Eye Final Touch. Now, I was thinking I would be able to finish it before this update, but unfortunately, every time I uh, seem to think that it's uh, gone, there's still a little bit more coming out that I could use on both of my eyes. So, unfortunately, this is still staying in. Uh, this is an okay eye cream. It's very... Um, it has a gel serum sort of consistency. So, you know, in my opinion, it probably would work best during the day, but I do have a specific date, daytime um, eye cream that I prefer over this one. So it, yeah, I'm just, I just keep, uh, I'll just be using this during the night. Um, this is just fine. I don't notice it, you know, making my under eyes feel um, amazing or anything like that it's just a good standard uh, eye cream that I guess works or doesn't but it just makes my skin feel uh, okay <laughs> then the next thing is another event product this event product I actually really adore this is the supreme hyaluronic acid anti-oxidizing duo moisturizer now I'm about halfway done so I guess two more months and I'll be done with that I don't mind I really actually enjoyed this particular um, moisturizer it is thick it is hydrating it is rich it is exactly what you need during the night time uh, but it doesn't clog your pores which is exactly what we want it doesn't break me out whatsoever it is just a very good very not even, I, I'm not I don't want to say standard because I use the same word for this and you know it, I'm underwhelmed with this whereas with this I really like what it does to my uh, skin to my face so yeah I have been really enjoying that and uh, you know I don't mind having this in my project for a few more months because I just like the way that it makes my skin feel okay next up I have this this is the Dr. Botanicals pomegranate superfood regenerating sleeping mask this is just okay I have been alternating it with the uh, moisturizer so one night I would use the moisturizer one night I would use this mask this mask is just fine you do need to apply a lot to feel like your face has been hydrated and it doesn't sink in straight away so you do have kind of a white mask on your face when you go to sleep uh, which you know is fine with me it doesn't bother me that much but you know some people it might uh bother them uh this is just okay i think one more month mm, one or mm, one and a half months and this will be done and uh, this is not something that i would repurchase because it just is okay it's nothing special next up i have this nail bay uh, origin gentle facial toner this is actually a um 
what's the word an opaque um, packaging so I can't see through it it doesn't matter if I shine my light into it well I actually can't because the hole is so small uh, if I shine my light you know behind it I, I just can't see how much I have left so I am actually guessing where I am and by the looks of it I am about right here this is a nice refreshing uh, toner it is a very gentle it doesn't necessarily help my skin because I had the niacinamide toner and I felt like it helped to keep my skin clear whereas this is just nice and refreshing especially uh, to kind of um, get rid of the um, makeup residue that you might have still on your face before applying a fresh uh, layer of skincare. It's just fine, nothing spectacular. Next up, uh, something that I definitely think I will be finished next month is this the Soap Room uh, Hydrating Face Serum. I'm literally just down there. Actually, the dropper itself doesn't pick up any product. I have to pour it into my hand and use it like that. Uh, I wouldn't consider, I keep saying it in every video, but I wouldn't consider this a face uh, serum. It is a face oil. It smells like a face oil. It behaves like a smell like a face oil. It um, the consistency is like a face oil. So if it behaves like a face oil, it is a face oil, not a face serum. I have been liking it in my nighttime skincare routine to add a little bit more of a hydration boost into my skin. Uh, would it be something that I would repurchase? Not necessarily because um, I'm not a fan of the texture of this you know if i want an oil i'm gonna buy like a squalene oil or something like that this was fine it i liked it while i had it but it wouldn't be something i would repurchase it's not something like the uh face cream that i uh, had from the soap room where i really enjoyed that face cream it was the best daytime um face cream that i had tried in recent times so i would repurchase that face cream but not this face serum this is just okay next up i have my michelin peach uh, flora number one eau de parfum i am about halfway done with this uh, perfume now i am using it every single day i have it on my uh, office desk where i just you know pour a little bit on my wrist and here on my neck it's slow going i'm not a fan of the scent it's very herbal it just smells like uh tea yeah it just smells like tea so not my favorite scent whatsoever but i will use it up because i have it and you know just something that i want out of my collection out of my mind out of my sight uh, the last product that i have in this uh, project is this good molecules pineapple exfoliating powder i love this it's such a gentle yet definitely like working sort of exfoliant that am i even making sense it's gentle but it works i really enjoy it it's a powder that you would pour into your hands add a little bit of water working into your hands and then on your face to gently exfoliate at that area love it i am more than halfway done with it so i guess one two three four more months and this will be done this has lasted me for ages it's such a good bank for your buck this probably costs like maybe 15 16 euros and it's probably gonna last me like a whole year by the looks of uh, my tracking but that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, i'm hoping that i will have some good rollouts next month definitely the eye cream definitely that face serum possibly this toner we'll see but yeah i'll definitely have more than one product to roll out uh but yeah like i said that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh but yeah thank you very much and i will see you in my next one bye Mwah.